Is mono audio a bad thing, and should you listen to mono? Well, first let's talk about what mono audio is. Mono is one, meaning the sound or audio is coming from a single source, like one speaker. Or, if you have two speakers, it sounds like it's coming from a phantom midpoint between the speakers, so it sounds like it's coming from a single point. We're actually taking a stereo image created by two speakers and collapsing it to a single point. So we're adding the left plus the right down the middle. And stereo means two, so we're having the sound and audio come from two different sources with the stereo image spread out. Here's a good visual representation. This point here is us. And this point over here is the left speaker or headphone, and this is the right. We have a good stereo image spread of 60 degrees, 30 degrees from left of center, and 30 from the right. Here's a poorly drawn image to really emphasize that. We're actually creating an equilateral triangle between us and the speakers. Then we can adjust the stereo image to look like this. This is what it looks like for mono. Listening in mono with the two sources of audio will sound like it's coming from that phantom midpoint right in the middle. Here's an example using music. If I, if I ever knew, I never meant to, but I never meant When you collapse a stereo image, everything's gonna start competing for space. But if it's professionally mixed, you'll still be able to hear everything. Listening in mono is actually a really good way to reference music, especially for mixing. You'll get a really clear idea if your vocals or instruments are too hot, too quiet, not EQ properly, not compressing the way you thought, and so on. Let's reference that mix again. If I lied you, it's never been true. It's never been true. Now, if I was trying to melt people's faces off with super loud vocals, then I nailed it. But I'm not going for that, so I quickly realize how I need to balance my mix. Plus, the guitars aren't cutting through how I want them to. Let's make those quick adjustments. If I, if I ever knew, I never meant to, but I never meant to. how the balance has really started to take shape. I actually highly recommend listening to your own mixes in mono, and there are two super simple ways to do it. Probably the easiest, depending on your room situation, would be to use plugins like Shep's Omni Channel and the Waves S1 Stereo Imager. I'll add links in the description below. The second way is to turn your mix up, go into the next room over with the door open, and listen to it that way. Both are perfectly great options. But is it bad to listen to music, mixes, or TV in mono? Not at all. Like we just learned, all that's happening is we're taking the stereo image and collapsing it to a single point, or the audio is coming from a single source. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to learn more awesome things about music and audio, but I'll see you next time.